over 39 varieties, Yancey's Fancy transforms your world! So Yancey's Fancy's Artisan Cheese came to Pick 6 with this idea that they wanted to totally rebrand, reach a younger demographic, um, and the idea that we latched onto the most was this idea that there are many varieties of cheese uh, could be personified and actually transform your same ordinary kitchen. So all of this was done on one location, not a set, but a location, and it was on a single day. So we had to move quickly, but our number one goal was to make sure every scene looked very, very unique and to really sell this transformation. So there was a lot going on in this commercial, and that was by design um, to give us some fun, but also so that the repeat viewing experience would be enhanced and, and not get old. Um, so we packed it in with tons of detail. Part of the nuance of that, though, is that the new viewer and the first time viewer needed to have a clear experience. So we created sort of oftentimes a haze to help veil the background and separate the focus from the front and the main subjects and the main storyline that was going on. And I think it turned out very successful. So that's an overview of what we were going for and the purpose. And here's Aaron Rizzo, our cinematographer, uh, speaking to how we achieved these looks. Hello, this is Aaron Rizzo. I was a cinematographer for the Yancey's commercial here. Um, we're just going to break down some of these lighting setups we had and uh, talk about how we lit them. So on the scout the day before, we figured out that this house had a lot of natural light in it because of these large windows up front. So we knew we had to kill those, so we put up a big 20 by 20 fabric, killed all that light coming in. That way it would help our kitchen scene as well as our artisan scene with our cheese master, um, which he's right next to because of the blocking that we had to choose. So here's our artisan setup. So we have this right next to that black cloth. And uh, so for our key, we had to uh, kind of mushroom over a silk fabric over a one by one Astra. And we kind of had that positioned up, kind of shooting down at a 45 to give him a nice soft key in his face. Um, and a big issue we were running into is this, obviously this light was spilling off onto our background. So we ended up flagging off a part of it just to kind of hopefully put your attention a little bit more on the artisan versus the background and kind of keep that moody look, which our director wanted, that he's kind of in this you know, artisan craft shop. So along with our key, um, we kind of our key was spilling over and hitting our labels, which is what we wanted. But the front of them were just a little too far away from our key, and they were getting lost a little and fall off. So what we did was pepper in a VidPro light right a frame. Um, we had to flag that just a little so it's not hitting our subject, because otherwise you're getting this harsh light mixed with the soft, which is kind of a funky mix that we didn't want. Um, so yeah, we just peppered that in on there, and uh, you see in the before and after, it just makes them pop a little bit more and draws your eye to the cheese. So moving on to our background lights, um, we wanted a spot to kind of really highlight these awards because these are the actual awards from Yancey's Fancies that they achieved. Um, so the concept was using an actual spotlight and so we boomed a vid pro over top. Um, no diffusion, just kind of set it down to kind of give it a spotty look. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out really well. So that award shelf is actually on a fake set wall that we built, um, and this was to kind of give an artisan feel to the same space that we're in. Same idea with transforming your world. Um, so if you look at it, we actually have this really cool little window that we actually cut out, and behind that is there's a picture of a tree that we just have a little bit separate from this backdrop, and that allows us that when we dolly in, you'll see a perspective shift. Um, kind of makes it a little bit more authentic and believable. And we also have a vid pro back there on a little magic arm coming right off of our wall and that's punching in a little warmer light on our talent, which is giving him a little bit of a rim and um, kind of making it feel like it's a, a nice crisp morning somewhere. And it just kind of warms up everything. So the next setup we have here is the extra sharp cheddar scene, which was the most complex of the day. Um, it was also the last one of the day, so this required a lot of lights, and uh, the motivation would be kind of think of an old club, and you have these red lights coming from exit signs or from neon lights, and we really want to achieve that, and the haze really helps with that too, and uh, getting a really cool shape from our moonlight coming from the, the window. The cheese in all these scenes um, is always changing, so this one's kind of fun because it's a tower. Uh, that kind of helped us out a little because we got to just put a vid pro right above them, shoot down, have a vid pro to the left of them gelled red, um, which gave it really nice depth and kind of dimension um, so you can kind of see and also gave it a little bit of an edginess because that's what we're looking for here is uh, kind of this crazy club scene. Um, we also have a one by one that is keying our talent. Um, that's not diffused with anything, it's kind of a harder light, just think of a little bit of a harsher grungy tone. We have a one by one directly behind the talent with a red gel and we have that all the way cranked up and that's just creating a really nice edge and also creating a balance with the red and blue. 
Um, and then we have our pianist over here, and he's just being funky. And we have a uh, one by one uh, that's gelled blue that we have kind of spraying against the fridge and the wall. And we're just kind of bouncing that up the ceiling um, and just kind of creating this weird blue grating over there. We also have a vid pro just hitting him to kind of let you see his face, but also keep him a little mysterious. He's kind of cut off right in the middle. Um, he's just kind of this weird dude doing his thing, which is kind of what we were going for. We now have our Joker outside shooting through our window, kind of creating this moonlight that we cool down in camera with bringing our color temperature down. Um, and you have this really nice cast, which is happening because we hazed the crap out of this room. Um, and that's also why you kind of see this blue ambient and this red ambient light because um, once, light, once light hits that haze, it kind of just kind of spreads around. And it really gives you good atmosphere and it's also why you can't see the background whatsoever. Moving on to our last lighting breakdown here, we have the western scene which is very gold and kind of like you're in the desert. Um, so what we did here was we have a joker coming through that window and once again kind of cut it with a barn door to create that nice shaft of light going through that haze. Our second light we have is a Joker 800 right in the middle of the kitchen. Um, it's pointed right at the camera and uh, I think we have a flood on that and we have an orange as well to kind of create this desert feel. Um, and so what that's doing is creating a nice edge light on everyone and it's also doing some silhouettes because of the exposure shift we're having to do. Um, and if you look at that cowboy, he's kind of moving around and uh, he's creating this really interesting shaft of lights as his arms move around and makes it very interesting and almost like there's just dust in the air. And we have a one by one, uh, and that's just shooting up against this saloon sign that we kind of have up there. Um, it's a backdrop actually, and we kind of are filling that a little just to kind of help with our exposure. And then we have a one by one left of frame that is hitting this cheese on our countertop. Um, and we have the same one by one in a kind of the same position. No diffusion on that, kind of think of imagine a sunny day, kind of a harsher light coming down on him. Um, and that is top right shooting down. So that's how we use lighting to create a lot of different moods in a single space. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.